Smoke Song Podcast, Episode Five. It's your boy, the Visionary Mind. It's your boy, Raw. Man, what the fuck took us so long to get to this episode, bro? Man, we was going through a lot of things, though, bro. Niggas yeah, thought uh, we was sick and shit. Yeah, we was. We, you know, shit thought and shit. That was no, crazy. I'm saying <laughs> that shit. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, gladly it wasn't. Gladly you know, it wasn't that. Nothing like that, but but we changed the weather. It was. You know what I'm saying? We gotta switch it up, you know what I'm saying? It can't be just rappers and Yeah, for sure. You gotta you learn. You gotta learn some shit, man. You gotta so we learn got some special guests, man. We got my boy. Yo. DR, King DR. And David. Who come? David with David. And what's y'all business, man? What's y'all uh We are founders of Crypto Buds. Crypto Buds is a digital NFT art and we are co founders of that. Yeah, welcome to Project Brisbane. Okay, facts. So facts. I always hear about like crypto and nah, all, like you know NFTs and stuff like that, man. Educate me, cause I'm I'm not one of the people that be like, man, I know everything. You feel me? So I want to know. I want to learn what it is and and what it ain't. Uh, pretty much, Bitcoin is a it's a blockchain technology. Um, blockchain technology basically like it's just a store of information where you can pass it along and it can be sent back and forth easily, basically. Um, so blockchain, that's where all NFTs are bought and sold on. Like, um, you ever heard of the Ethereum before? No, Ethereum? I heard of it before. Yeah, but that's um, it's a blockchain. You know what I'm saying? And that's where a lot of the cryptos. And, yeah, yeah, it's just a chain of information that you can just spread like back and forth. And it's a it's an early um, developing technology. It's kind of like a um, blank canvas, I feel like, because there's so much that can be done with it. Um, a lot of big companies are starting to adopt it because they see the potential in the um, long term living debit with it. So. Um, that's basically what cryptocurrency is. Um, I really want to know how to describe the main coins like Shiba and Dogecoin. I don't really know how to describe those because it's not really nothing special about them in my opinion. But yeah, that's my opinion what a cryptocurrency is. Cryptocurrencies, man, it's like basically it's the next wave. Like you have the evolution of every currency. You can go from the coin era back when we had coins from silver to gold to silver to gold to coins, like all the different stages in the currency we've had all the way up to the debit card credit card to now digital pay and crypto pay like crypto is the next way in exchanging money exchanging any type of currency that's relevant and digital and being encrypted like that's the best part about crypto the security behind it because if you understand what an onion browser is or a torque browser it's kind of similar to how the blockchain work but way more advanced like on another, a whole nother level yeah, it's also start being start to look at a, um, as an asset now. You know, it's definitely being adopted as an asset. You can make a lot of money in it. Um, a lot of people make money in cryptocurrency in the last recent years, but of course, um, people have been making money in it for a long time. But yeah, it's an asset now for sure. Um, do you guys ever uh, know about the uh, Bitcoin mining? I heard about it. It's like some mining junk. I don't know. Could y'all further explain it? Um, yeah, basically, it's like generating crypto, like generating Bitcoin. You know what I'm saying? They have um, technology where they can use machines that run off a of certain energy or power that generate cryptocurrency. Wow. Yeah, I'm not really um, too informed on mining because I don't do mining, but yeah, that's a little bit what I know about it. Basically, just gathering it. So, like, mining comes from transferring currencies back and forth they all get passed through a blockchain going back and forth there's fees for different blockchains to make those transactions so people will mine a certain crypto to gather it up to so it can be expunged and sold back out for fees as other wow. transfers so they making extra coins off of bitcoin oh, yeah. <laughs> making a lot of money yeah. literally so they will mine one currency or one crypto just to get a whole bunch of it and then when people start to get high traffic and high volume and they're exchanging it they can have a extensive source of it to be able to put back into the market so how did you guys get into it me i got involved in trading i want to say probably about four years ago i was trading stocks and like stocks was cool but the market was I don't know like it was complicated like stocks is cool to invest in don't get me wrong i'm never telling nobody not to invest in nothing i'm not a financial advisor so i couldn't tell you what to do or what not to do but i can tell you what i've done and as far as stocks i like them but there's limitations within the stock market and those limitations can cause confliction on how you trade and the structure of your trading style so i dab i dabbled in forex and when i got involved in forex that's when it was a whole nother level because then you trade in currencies you got access is 24 7. the market is unlimited it's way more money in the forex market than there is and the stock so market, market never closed the market never wow closed. like 
there's always a currency just being transferred somewhere because you got to think about it, it's different time zones all over the world so Thanks. while we sleep and going our banks is closed it's somewhere around the world their banks is open so although yeah. the market might not be as volatile and moving as fast they're still they still boom motion you feel me and you yeah. can still make money within those motions mm. what about you bro um, like i said i got started trading like around like two years ago um, actually my one of my bros um he another um one of the partners in crypto buzz named sam he was telling me like 2017 like bro start trading bro like get on cryptocurrency get on bitcoin but i was like i was still like going on like the nursing path i was in school going to be a nurse okay. um i didn't finish yeah, being a nurse but yeah you know what i'm saying thought, yeah, yeah that's yeah. a great bigger business great though field. yeah it's a lot of money to be a nurse for sure but yeah it wasn't all right but um i started liking the crypto thing like around last year so i started trading with um imf that's a little forest group i know you probably heard about the four yeah, 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 yeah. you know what i'm saying so yeah so um i started trading with them uh, I made a good little amount of money, you know, my first time trading. I was like, dang, I ain't never made $200 in like five minutes. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't never made money that quick. So, so I was like, dang, like, this is really something I can take far one day. Like, if I can really master trading, like, I could turn this into like an endless supply of money. So, like, I started taking it serious. Like, I was in college, I was going to graduate in December, but I was like, you know what? I don't want to do nursing no more. I'm going to make sure I learn trading and I'm going to focus on that every day. So I just started trading with my boy Sam. Like, we in there every morning, like, waking up in the morning, looking at the charts, reading the charts. And I've just been doing that lab for like past year and a half, like I said, and I done made some money, I done lost some money, but I definitely see like, I'm going to stick with this for sure, because I know it's a lot of money to be made, and I feel like everybody should be investing, like, everybody don't have to be a trader, but everybody should be investing some money in something, in something. like, something, yeah. you can't rely on one form of income, because you can't, 2021. You gotta listen, you gotta <laughs> look at inflation, bro. Up. It's like 15%, so just saving your money, you already like right. losing money just by having your money saved in the bank. So one form of income is not gonna be enough, and that's not just. And, and last year, bro, everybody was making a lot of money. So that's I just capitalized on that. Pandemic. Facts. Yeah, a lot of money. So, yeah. So my my experience with trading is like you know I did the forex thing. So yeah, my my experience with with trading and forex, I didn't really like it at first. You feel me? Like it would just seem like I was you know putting my money out than I was making, and it was just this whole big thing where like people was like. Yeah, you know, you got to do this. And then once you get it, it's like, well, now you got to sign two people. And, but it seemed like with crypto, it's, it's much more simpler. So how simple is it, how simple is it with crypto? So I feel like I understand that experience you had. A lot of times with this trading world, there's marketing companies. They go out and they recruit people to teach them how to trade. So it's like... Uh, digital marketing entrepreneurship style job is like basically you go and be a part of this corporation yeah you can learn the tools to trade yeah you can get all the aspects of it but you can also build the company and earn residual income so a lot of people will shadow like shadow ban the whole trading aspect and just recruit and then sort of bringing people aboard like hey you got to do this you got to do this you got to do that right. and they're not really educating them to be a trader and teaching them the actual tools yeah, that they was need my issue to be profitable that was so, my issue for sure that's a lot of the common problems because everybody's looking for the fast bag and the fastest bag is residuals so you want to sign people up yeah and yeah that's cool but if you're not actually learning the tool what is the benefit of going to school because it's a learning program it's like right. if you're not utilizing the education then what was the point of you putting your money into it you just spending money to be in a social group like facts and that's <laughs> how i looked at it. it it was actually that like i'm like man i i did it as well and i'm like I wasn't learning enough. It was just like, everybody, yeah, we got to get this. We got to get this. We got to get this many numbers. I, I like, and see, so what that, about the forex? <laughs> exactly. That was my so, problem too. A little bit. I was just like, yeah, I can't really, I'm not really too focused on like recruiting people yet. Cause I'm not really a good trader yet. Like exactly, yeah. I'm going to test my dishonor for something. And I don't, I don't know how to trade yet. You like, both in there looking down. Right. Yeah. So I was <laughs> like, bro, you know what? I'm going I'm to make sure I learn on my own. You know, I was taking courses though. Like I was buying courses from people. Like, see, you know what I'm saying? I'll go, you know, so look on Instagram, see a guy that's doing it big. I'll be like, oh, come on. Let me see what he's doing. I got. I see how much free game he's giving out though. Like if you're not giving out no free game, I'm not tapping in with him, bro. And like, you know what's crazy? It's a lot of these like high echelon traders or people well known traders that really want to give you the sauce. I'm like, saying, you know, if, you, if you're not on that same level, it's like Fact. because it's a nuisance. Because it's like think about it like this: if you're a full blown mechanic and you know everything the ins and outs about working on a car and fixing a car, somebody comes to you like, hey, I want to learn how to fix a car too. I want to be a mechanic as well. And it's like, all right, well, how much do you know? Well, I don't know anything except the car has four wheels. Okay, right. now I got to go back to square one and try to reteach you. And when I'm already on freaking level 100. And it's like, that becomes a nuisance to become a re repetition. So it's like, you got to put the right people with the right mindset to 
get that unity and yeah. get that pass that education because knowledge is supposed to be passed. Like people Fact. only put it in books because they die. So facts, mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, that's real shit. That's real knowledge shit. is supposed to be passed, and right. if we don't soak up the knowledge that's being given, then what is the purpose of having it or knowing about it or it being out there? Right. And so Absolutely. I feel like the difference between cryptos and forex because believe it or not, cryptos you can trade cryptos within forex. Like, yeah, facts. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's certain elements, but it's, but but to me it seemed different. Is there's really no difference? Like the difference is the platform you use, choose to access it. You can use a mm. MetaTrader Four, which would be considered Forex, yeah. or you can use a uh, Weeble, or you can use a uh, freaking HFX. Like, well, HFX is the type of trading style. Like that's yeah, this, yeah. HFX is high frequency trading, and then right. FRX is the regular for it. It's like it's so much different. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's like, confusing. So, uh, it can be. Are you? So I dabble in everything, to tell you the truth. Like yeah, there's sure. yeah, because I'm the type of person much. if there's a hundred dollars on the table and there's fifty dollars on the table, I'm gonna take both of them. I ain't gonna just take the yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> like so if I can learn all aspects and profit off all of them, I'm going to. And so that's what ventured me into NFTs because cryptos was booming, Forex was booming. Forex had a bad narrative because the marketing aspect, crypto didn't have that, although that you could learn cryptos within Forex that wasn't the aspect people were spending because it was new and a lot of people didn't know about it so people didn't talk about it cryptos has always been there just as much as forex in reality like it just didn't really start booming until bitcoin hit those big numbers and then people start saying oh, maybe this is something to get into but why is it like that though the branding of it it seems like forex is like the it's like the lot it's like the social media of like trading trading and investing and then it's crypto is like this well-kept secret like if you if you know you know well, because of the marketing aspect. Uh, yeah, because you know, of the marketing, marketing aspect. Sure. You feel me? Everybody wants to be a trading guru to have a team of people that they can all be profiting from being a part of their team. And so mm. with that, it can be beneficial for sure. But if you're not utilizing the tools and the resources properly, it's a waste of time in reality. Like, there's no difference from going to watch a thousand videos on YouTube and then never applying the knowledge you learn. Like, right? Because you can learn the same stuff. But are you gonna utilize it in the same space that you learned it? Because not everybody retains information the same. Exactly, Jay. You gotta comprehend it the right way. And you feel me? Cause they don't give out that information the right they they be yeah. This come sign over here and we yeah. gonna show you this and it be yeah, bro. Like we in the information age right now, bro. Like facts. facts, bro. Our parents didn't. Oh, excuse me, my bad, bro. But um, our parents, our parents didn't have access to the information that we have access to right now. Like, oh, investing, no. like most of our parents, bro. If you ask them about investing or. Crypto, they don't know nothing Shit, about yeah, it. Yeah, the, the, the invest in a little bit when you when it comes to like four hundred one k, but yeah, yeah, but, yeah. but that's like but that's, that's on the low end. That's, that's, that's on the low end. Yeah, that's super low end. That's more yeah, a baby boomer. That's more a baby boomerish where exactly. you know like people who work in yeah. factories. You got to have that certain yeah. amount of money to yeah. retire from. And that kind of worked back then. You right, know but it don't work. But it don't work anymore. It's not. It's not up to date. Yeah, so that's why it's like it's so easy to get got information out here now. Like you got Instagram, you got YouTube, you got people out here giving out free games. So. That's why I be trying to tell people like invest your money, like do something, do your research. Like you don't gotta just invest something into something because you heard about it. Like do some research on it because that's gonna help you get give you some conviction. Like you know what? Yeah. I actually think that it's a good company to invest in. Like let's just say for example, like Apple. We all got Apple iPhones right now, and we use an iPhone. And like you see that we've been she using iPhones, computers. yeah, yeah. Computers, yeah. Computers, yeah. And we've been using them for like the last ten years. Yeah, and we know it's not going nowhere. At all. We know they still making money. We know that they're gonna grow. You know they're gonna add new products every year. Every year, <laughs> and then people would be like, investing is risky, and I'd be like, man, like. Everything is risky. Everything is risky. Everything get on a plane is risky. You know, walking outside, walk outside, outside, walk outside is risky. When you go buy a bottle of alcohol, that's risky. You know what I'm saying? Like, so it's like, and that bottle of alcohol is going to be gone that day. You buy a share, you're going to have that share forever. So it's just like, yeah. To me, it's the paradigm that we created. Like, we're structured and we grow up thinking that the system we're in is the system that creates our well being. And we have to get a stable system within the system we're in to maintain life. And that's not the case at all. So it's like, think about it like this. You grow up and you consume certain things because that's what you grew up consuming. Mm -hmm. Not because those are what you like, that's just what you're used to. Yeah, so when you the environment. You feel me? Your environment, the paradigm you're in. And that doesn't just apply with food or clothes or music. It applies with knowledge. It applies with everything. If you weren't growing up to some, you weren't brought up to be someone to experience new things, try new things, and be adventurous, you won't be adventurous when it comes to trading. You won't be wanted to know more about anything because you're constructed with what you already have but is it an environment or is it a system 
It's the systematic one. Because it seems like, seem like with us, let's just, let, with, with, with black, everything seems so universal. You know what I'm saying? Like whether it's your lifestyle or whether how you pick up new knowledge. The culture. Because like, we are cultured people. Right. Though, right. The same way you're trading, there's people that's anti-trading and be like, well, mm-hmm. it's just them Forex niggas. Exactly. Crypto is right. Forex, you know what I'm saying? Or any type of other trading. like, And that's cool, but then you got to look at it like this. If the... If technology is going to continuously evolve and you choose to not take part, you're going to be on the back end when certain breaks happen. So Fact. you're choosing to miss out on all types of possibilities. For what? Like, what's, why do you think we think that way, though, as 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 a culture? Because I feel like black people in general think that way. I think because we're thinking scarcity, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, scarcity like, we mindset. About, we just pee right. pitching, bro. Like, yeah. I'm talking to my mom about investing, and she be so like. But not necessarily to take that risk, you know what I'm saying? Think about it like this. We can go out and spend two, three hundred dollars on clothes and yeah. not Ooh, even sweat it. That's mm-hmm. true. No problem. Not even sweat it. Because we are talking about that system though. Yes, yeah. exactly. In our system we're constructed to be consumers, not producers. Right, that's what yeah. I'm about to say. So, Maybe. Yeah. Hey, mm-hmm. yeah, y'all, y'all watch Baby Boy before, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. 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 Your buyer or something. Oh, like buyer or something. Exactly, yeah, exactly, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bread and butter. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like so, but most people can't get past that concept. Most people can't evolve. And it's like, if you don't evolve, you will perish. You will like, stay. You, you stay like, right where you at. And right. if you stay where you at, you're going to perish. Because mm-hmm. there is nothing more coming to, like, the only thing that comes to dreamer is dreams. So it's like, if you're only thinking about what could be and you're not actually taking steps to be of what could be, what was the point of thinking about Fact, it? You just yeah, act right. on nothing. You had a great thought. Great thoughts happen every day. Yeah, every day. Every day. And, like, <laughs> and you don't even remember them after a while. You feel me? Like, yeah. <laughs> five years later, like, damn, I could have did crypto. Bruh, for real. Like, for real. Like, <laughs> you know how many people were kicking themselves in the butt because they missed the boom? It's like, oh, well, like I said, I, you my boy Sam see? was telling me to cr- trade in 2017. Yeah. Like, it was probably five. So, what made you get that hump, that over the hump? Like, yeah, yeah. it's time to go, bro. I yeah. got to get into it. Really? It was 2020, bro. Yeah, like, pandemic. honestly, it was the pandemic. Like, I was making, yeah. I was, you know, I had more money than I ever had before in my life. Fact. So, I was just like, bro, I don't know how, you know, when the next time I'm going to touch this much cheese, I might as well. Learn something while I've got this much. You had the right mindset. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I like. Bro, a lot of niggas want to go buy J's and yeah, like, yeah. B Longs and Forges and, and, and J Alexander. See, I knew <laughs> I knew I didn't want to like go to school. Queens, but I know I didn't want to go to school no more. I was just like, bro, I don't want to like, like, no like, 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 like go to school and like make that my career. If I want to trade, like, so I felt like I had to do it. You know what I'm saying? Facts. It's yeah. a lifestyle choice, man. It's yeah. like a trade. It's literally a trade to trade. Yeah. <laughs> it's fact, it is. It's just like a skill trade. You know what I mean? It's literally a skill. Is. Yeah, just like what y'all doing right now, this podcast is like it's a skill. Trade, like, yeah. We all be, like developing skills for ourselves. And like, Facts. that's what's going to get us ahead, I feel like. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, just about the job. Cause cause I- what up, yo? This is King Dior, Dior, Dior. My boy David. That's your boy Dave. You know what I'm saying? We co founders of Crypto Buzz Worldwide. Yes, sir. Digital NFT. We here with Smoke Some Podcast and just trying to spread that knowledge. You know what I'm saying? We trying to unite the two communities. We in NFTs. What better place to do it? Tap in, man. We got big things coming. Smoke some. Smoke some.